Life is precious, and we all have the opportunity of living it to the fullest. Unfortunately, so few of us know how to manage it all. How do we account for our opportunities? How do we account for our time? How do we account for our relationships, health, spirituality, homes, finances, influence, and careers? How do we account for the one life we have to live? I am so glad you asked. In this program, you will find answers to all of these questions and more. Welcome to the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. What is happening, everybody? Welcome back today, Faith in Action, Overcoming Fear and Doubt. So here's, let's start, let's start with a question. Like, what is overcoming? What is fear? What is doubt? What is faith? What is action? Like all of these words are important in understanding just the title, Faith in Action, Overcoming Fear and Doubt. So today we're going to look at the word of God as usual. And and, and I'm going to also bring some, you know, um, stories in of some things that I personally did um, to to gain confidence, because I believe confidence is at the is at the forefront of building faith and taking action. So back when I was in high school, um, I was like I'm six three plus today, um, but when I started high school, I was like five foot, you know, maybe five one, you know. So that you know, my first year, you know, I'm just this little guy. Um, but something was happening. I remember my mom came up and she took me. She took me to go get some sneakers because the sneakers I was wearing was, you know, was too small. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on, man. Why is why is the sneakers too small? So they, so so we got to the shoe store. The person, like they, you know, back in the day, they just, you know, let's let's go ahead and measure your feet. They measured my feet. I thought I wore like an eight and a half because I'm asking for eight and a half. They said, let's measure your feet first, and my feet were size 10. I was I was upset because I'm 5'1. And when I put those size 10s on, it looked like I was walking around in boats. Now I didn't understand what was about to happen. But something started to happen. Now here's the thing. Why do I tell you that story? Because I had no faith that I was going to get tall. None. I had no understanding that I would be tall. I had no belief. I had no none of it. See, because a lot of times when you, when you, when you, when you want to move in a direction, you don't always know that it's going to happen. Of course, I wanted to be tall. Is, there, is anybody ever asked you like like a question that says, "Hey, would you like to have more money? Would you like to lose weight? Would you like to be more successful?" Yes, you would. But the moment you say yes, it's like, why do you do that? So I always wanted to be tall. I just didn't believe. I just never thought that I would be. But that's interesting. No one's tall. No one's tall in my family. And so here it is. I'm size 10 and had no understanding that I would get tall. Now, more to the story. Now, I play basketball. And one of the things I used to do, I worked in the gym. And I would mop the floor. I would clean the bathrooms. And when I was done, I still had time. So I started building my confidence. So how does one build a confidence? And what in what is confidence? Confidence is a feeling. Confidence is merely a feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something or have firm trust. And so I started building my confidence just by running up and down the floor by myself. Running up and down by myself. Making layups by myself. Because I used to have fear. Playing the game. Everybody's there, and it's just like, oh, I'm in in miss layups, and be, because you're somewhat tense in the game. Yeah, I'm gonna get to it in a second, but faith in action, overcoming fear and doubt, starts with a knowing. It starts with an understanding. It just starts with doing something. That's all action is. See, when you hear the word faith, what do you think? Like, what do you think when you hear the word faith? Many of us, when we hear the word faith, the first thing we think of is, is a religion. We think of church. We think of all these things. Like, yeah, that's not what faith is. Faith has nothing to do with it. Faith is, faith is merely, faith is merely like in, in Hebrews. What does it say that faith is? You know, and so I, and what I did is I picked this up 
in, uh, I can't remember the version of it, but this is what, I, I love this version of it. It says, this is what it means to trust God. It's talking about faith. We will be sure about the things that we hope for. We will be sure in our minds about the things that we cannot see. Wow. So wait a second. Wait a second. Faith is is being sure. Faith is 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 literally, you know, trusting God, trusting in this this being that you never saw before. Overcoming fear and doubt. How does one do that? How does one how does one how does one have faith? You know, you know, I've been reading the Bible and I've been sharing this here. The Bible is ambiguous. And I say that not from not from a disbelief. I say that because there are people who don't believe. And so when I look at it and I read the Bible, it's like, it's like, man, it, it, there's so much missing. There's so much missing in the Bible, you know. So, so to have faith, if if you were introduced to faith, think about this: if you was introduced to faith in church. Like I was introduced to faith in church, then one of the problems, one one of the problems that that I may have had was pretty simple, is just that I didn't see any evidence. See, in James, it, it talks about this is, I'm gonna start in 16. It says, and one, it says, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace. He's talking about people who come into you and ask him for stuff and, you know, go and be warm and filled, notwithstanding you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What does it profit? So what is he saying there? He's, what James is saying is that a lot of times folks come to you and, and, I'm and that's why I'm talking about church. A lot of times folks come to you and they need stuff. Hey man, I need some money. Hey man, let me pray for you. But I need some money. See, we don't have time. We don't have time to pray when you need money. So it's like, I want to have this faith and I want to take action. There's no evidence. There's no evidence. You know, see, fear and doubt. What is that? What is that creating people? Procrastination. <laughs> Procrastination. You know, it's not the destination that we want to um, go to. We don't want to go to that destination. And so having the understanding that, okay, when it comes to faith, it's not just about when I pray. It's not. It's about being certain. It's about realizing that, look, when, when, when there's a problem, I've got to step into the problem. I've got to say to myself, man, this problem is, is, is for me to solve it, right? Because the next verse of it, it says, you can have faith, but without works, it's dead. So if I don't have anything, if I don't have anything to back up, right? If I don't have anything to back up my faith, right? If I don't have nothing to, you know, you know, to, you know, to say, you know what? I have proof. I have proof. And, you know, the phone's ringing. No one's picking it up. <laughs> I have proof. And you got to have proof when we're talking about faith. How do you get proof? How does one get proof? This is this is where practical is going to come in. How do you get proof? The first thing we got to, we'll have to recognize is simple. Overcome. What is overcoming? Overcome is just, a, so you have to succeed at something. What, what do I have to succeed at? I have to succeed at taking a step. I have to succeed at realizing that, hey, you know, I'm not going to be in fear. I'm not going to be in fear of making a layup. I'm not going to be in fear of, you know, of, of sharing, uh, sharing what I believe. I'm not, I'm not going to be in fear of going for what I want. I'm not going to be in fear of, you know, taking, taking, making the hard decisions. I'm not going to be in fear of any of that. See, because if I'm in fear and doubt, and I say I and I say that I believe it, and I'm just use that word, I'm gonna say I believe in God. You don't believe in God. There's no belief. I know some of you are gonna say, well, what do you mean? I do believe in God. No, you don't. You don't believe in God. 
Because in Hebrews, it, we, we already read, it says, this is what it means to trust God, that you'll be sure about the things that you hope for. You'll be sure in your mind about the things that we cannot even see. You'll be sure of it. I would be sure of it, you know, and prior to, you know, you know, back when I took the, the two months off from the podcast and, you know, I had to get sure, like, I'm not saying I, like I wasn't living in, living in fear or doubt, but it may have been, it may have been some doubt in there, right? Because I was doubtful and that's why God allowed me to do what I did. I was doubtful that, okay, is there more to this? No. I mean, there's levels, but there's this is the same thing. What is account for your life? Account for your life is a mission. Account for your life is is every day. You have to account for your life. And your life is the most important thing to you and to me. Because without my life, I have no business. Without my life, I have no family. Without my life, I have nothing. I don't have my life. And so that's why life is important. It says life is precious. We all have an opportunity here to to live it to the fullest. Unfortunately, so few of us know how to manage it all. And so when I thought, I I was thinking about this this morning, because I was like, you know, I was listening to one of my mentors and I says, well, what is the problem that account for your life solves? You want to know what it solves? You probably don't know what it is. I didn't. I came into an awareness of this this morning. Crazy, right? Management. Account for your life solves the problem of management. Management, yeah. Managing your life, managing your health, managing your business, managing your relationships, managing your family, managing your ministry, managing your church, whatever that is, it solves the problem of management. I was like, wow, that's what this solves. But here's the thing, right? This is what it means to trust God. You got to be sure about the things that you hope for. You got to be sure in your mind about the things that I cannot even see. I cannot see, like in the physical, millions of people listening to this podcast. I cannot, I cannot see, you know, um, you know, the thousands of people that 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 I wind up speaking in front of. I can't, like, I can't. Phys- I'm not physically there. But I'm trusting God that that's if that's what God's plan is, that's what this will do. So how does one now move? Right. What is action? Action is moving towards where it is that you have to go, doing things that will help you to get to where you want to go. Just imagine this. You want to get to New York. You want to get to California, you got to take action, whether you're going to drive, whether you're going to fly, whether you're going to ride in a in, on, on a train, a bus. You've got to take action. You got to actually do something. You got to do something. So what does one what does one. OK, we get more practical now. What does one need to do? One to to move using their faith. But. How does one overcome fear and doubt? All right. This is how you're going to overcome. This is how what this is what I do to overcome fear and doubt. I have to isolate it. The first thing I do is isolate. Well, what is it that I'm fearing? What is it that I'm doubting? I have to isolate it immediately. Okay. This is what this is what the this is what my situation is. Man, I need to get known. This is me. I need to get known. Need more people to know about me. So what have I, what have I, what have I been doing and what do I need to do? Oh, you, you're going to need to actually be more um, present in presenting yourself in the market. How do you do that? Well, okay. I'm already, I'm already recording a podcast. Then I'm going to have to break it. I'm going to have to, you know, cut it up. I'm going to have to make some quotes. I'm going to have to make a blog. I'm going to have to, you know, almost I'm going to have to make tweets. I'm going to have to make you know posts. I'm going to have to put so much out there using the same thing that I already was doing. Then it's not, I'm not even really in fear, 
but I was doubting. I was doubting whether or not I could do it. I was doubting whether or not, hey, well, it's not growing. Away. But you know what? I got to measure it. Isolated, right? And then you see that, oh, I'm already doing stuff, so it's nothing. And then I've got to measure it every day. How many people listened? How many people commented? How many people liked it? How many people saw it? Like, how many people downloaded it? Like, literally keep track of every metric. See, because if we're going to overcome fear and doubt, then I've got to actually put fear and doubt on notice because you know what? I'm not going to allow you fear and doubt. I'm not going to allow you to stop me from the mission. Helping people to account for their life, right? Helping me to account for my life. Because at the end of the day, if if I don't have any any result, if I don't have a result that I could then transfer to other people, then it's then it's not even it's ah uh, you know it's just Jay. So so today, right? You got to isolate. What are you, what have you been in fear of? I was having a conversation, maybe about a month 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 and a half ago with one of my friends, and um, shout out. Um, Shout out to Karen out in the UK. And um, we were having a conversation and she was dealing with some issues. You know, I don't think she'd mind me talking about this. She was dealing with some issues. She's trying to, you know, money is money is tight and trying to figure out what to do. And, you know, man, you know, what's going to happen? Things things don't seem like it's working. And we had a conversation. We must have talked for a couple of hours. And I, and I just talked her through moving forward. That's all I did. I talked her through moving forward, meaning, okay, yeah, you can you can see that, oh, the bank account's going down. Oh, you can see that bills are due. Oh, you can see that there's nothing coming in. You can see that. But why don't we put our eye on what we can see with our mind? So what do you want? I want to help. Da, da, da. I want to help. I want, I, I want to help teachers, and I want to be able to help the students. And I want to be able to, you know, do this. And okay, fine. But this is what you do. I had to give her some action. I said, you know what? Just start reaching out to people. Start reaching out to me. Hey, 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 you know anybody? Hey, hey, you know anybody? Hey, hey, you know anybody? And literally the next day, she started doing it. The next day, somebody called her, and she wanted to get the, getting getting opportunity to work. One fill. The money pin. Then, then from there, she, you know, she had started a new price. Like she was given a new price for what she was doing, and no one was taking. It. I said, "Don't actually think about it. Just say the price and give the price and be excited about the price." And then all of a sudden, everybody's taking her price. Everybody's taking her, and it's growing. But here's the thing: there was. Fear and doubt. We had to isolate it. We looked at it and said, ha, 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 ha. we laughed at it. You beat fear and doubt by going in action. That's all faith is. Going. If we just take off faith, what is faith? Faith is merely someone doing something. Someone, someone moving ahead, but you may not see where they're going. Hey, where you going, Jay? I can't see that. I can't see world's most successful accounting organization helping people to account for life and business. I can't see that. You don't need to. That's what I see. That's the vision God gave me. So when someone is moving, they're they're technically they're technically the production of faith, because that's all faith is. Someone moving. So when you overcome fear and doubt, you isolate it and look at it. What am I doubting? And then by saying, what am I doubting? Then what do I need to do? Because faith is doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. And when you do it, here's what you get. You ready? It's easy. You build confidence. Going back to my story, I was in the gym, building my confidence making making layups, making free throws, making jump shots. And then one day, a couple of years later, all of a sudden, somebody said, Jay, you're getting taller. No, no, actually it was the same year. You know, I went home for a home, uh, uh, you know, you know, a break in my, in my godmother says, getting a little taller. I am. Wasn't paying attention. Why? Because I was building myself. So that when the time came, I was ready. See, because when you build yourself, the time is going to come. Your, 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 your opportunity is going to come. 
And that opportunity is going to pull you in in this direction of man. It's just it's just amazing. You know, pulls you in this direction of 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 bliss where when you're doing it. It isn't time just stand still, just like now time stand still. So you want to overcome fear and doubt by isolating it, looking at it, realizing that that's what that is. And then realize that all I have to all I have to do to overcome it is to do something, do something in the direction of what you want, where you want to go and how you want to get there. And if you do that, you overcome fear and doubt. You will build your confidence and then you will be able to say what it means to trust God because you will be sure about the things that you hold for and you will be sure in your mind about the things you cannot even see. Guys, I hope you got value from this program today. I'm Jay Moore, the Healthy Accountant, helping you to account for life. Don't forget, go to thehealthyaccountants.com and there's a free ebook right there. Get your breakthrough now. It's free. Click right there on the home page. Bam, it's going to take you to another page. Put in your name and email address, and that ebook is going to be right in your inbox so that you can get your breakthrough now, especially unlock your financial mindset so that you can be more prosperous in 2023 and beyond. Guys, I appreciate you for joining me for this episode. I will see you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for joining us, listening friends. We are so glad you invested this time with us. Always remember, you only have one life to live, so live it to the fullest. This has been the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. Until next time, make it a great day.